How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get one of the Titan planes in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now it's going to be located at Fort Zancudo, uh, it's kind of up in the Blaine County area region like that, and uh, of course as soon as you enter the Fort Zancudo military zone, you're going to get four stars, and the Titan is this kind of Osprey gunner giant cargo ship uh, that you can see, I think it's like coming up to the right here, or, or I might have missed, I'm going to double back and get it. And it's basically a giant ship, and I've made it my mission for, I believe, the past hour of just going back and uh, hitting the quick save and trying to get into a good location to get one of these planes. Now, you can see it right there. That's the size of it. But I said, wait, that would be a bad idea to stop just because of all their giant red dots. And I see one about to take off on the runway, and I say, this might be my only chance to get one of these things. So I drive in front of it, and the pilot very willingly stops, and they get out like they know they're about to be Grand Theft auto now, unfortunately for this run, as soon as I start up my vehicle, I notice that my left two engines are not working. Now black smoke is coming out of them, so I'm saying, okay, this cannot be good. But I'm, I'm giving myself hope. If I can just get the, you know, the plane started up, if I can just get some momentum, it's huge. You know, it'll run over vehicles, etc. And unfortunately, as soon as I really get my momentum going and get in the air, there are fighter jets right on me that are here to shoot me down. Of course, I was probably going to crash anyways with the lack of two engines, but the fate was inevitable when this fighter jet decided to go some kamikaze on me and run into the back of my plane, eventually taking me down. So, all three times, you can see I get progressively better at trying to obtain one of these. I've had difficulty getting it out of the Zancudo no-fly zone. So, if you guys do have any more tips or suggestions, or better ways to, uh, you know, lose the fighter jet or maybe some of the stars that come along uh, with being in this no-fly zone, definitely leave a comment down below because I had trouble obtaining one of these uh, and then getting hit with the jets. Now, this one was just a bad start overall. You can see that my right two engines are on fire and uh, what's tough about this is it's not that it takes a long time to get into the air, it takes a long time to start up. Obviously you're moving several tons of metal and plane, and unfortunately because of the zone you're in, it takes a while for it to get going and you don't really have enough time to wait because there's so many things shooting at you. Now I think this one was my best run right here because I see that, hey look, all of my engines are functioning. So for once, I have a fully functioning plane and with that I'm able to get a pretty good amount of speed. So I know from my two previous transactions that I need to get out of the Zancudo no-fly zone as quick as possible, and that's what I try to do. I try to make a beeline for, like, anywhere out of this zone, but unfortunately these fighter jets are on me. I've already taken two rockets, so this thing can take up to three rockets before it's destroyed, but it was really no hope after that. I was done for. Now, in case you don't want to go on the runway, there are some of these Titan Osprey ships that are laying around in these kind of hangar areas right here. The only thing that I can really say about this is they are horribly, horribly located to tanks and, uh, you know, trucks full of people. So it's a really bad idea if you want to attempt this because you have to punch the door a few times. And when you have a tank that is about to shoot you, you don't have a whole lot of time to leisurely get into airplanes. So anyways, guys, this is how to kind of get the Titan. I'm sure you guys have better ways to do it on your own and how you can actually get out of the no-fly zone and use the plane for yourself. But that's the best I could do. I'm just showing you where it is where it was, and how you could easily get it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.